Hey guys, it's Lily and the Postmodern Mom here, and welcome to a makeup monologue. Today's monologue is just about what happened this weekend and what it was like meeting a celebrity, and um, I'm putting my makeup on while I talk to you. So today is the last day of filming and making this documentary with Stacy Dooley. Um, Stacy's sleeping upstairs right now, and it's about 8 a.m. Um, and yeah, so I've been putting my makeup on pretty much every day. I just haven't been able to chat to you guys about it, obviously, because I've been really busy. Just when they like to film what's going on in the house, film me putting my makeup on and stuff like that. So um, I've just put my Skin Reviver on by The Body Shop. Before that I put on my normal day cream, the Ultra Lift Garnier. And now I'm going to put on my Double Wear 2N1 Estee Lauder Foundation. So I guess like it's been a really full on weekend and I think they ha obviously have experience with how full on it is. Um, but yeah. Philippe and I have been really tired every time we finish the evening and we just go right to bed. There's not much like staying awake. Even if even if it's exciting, I think we're just so exhausted by the end of it because like it's almost like every major moment of the day or even minor moments throughout the day are being recorded. And um, it's been really cool. The director, his name is Guy. He kind of like interjects now and then and says, oh, actually I have a great idea, you know, for a conversation or what's the follow-up question to this? And then sometimes what's kind of weird and awkward is he's like, can you just say that again? Or can you um, basically like reenact this conversation you had because maybe he didn't catch it on camera um, or he wants the same exact conversation, but like in a different setting. So I think that was the weirdest part of the whole experience. Meeting Stacy has been really natural. She's very friendly and personable, and she seems really genuine and caring, open-minded, which I thought was interesting because there's always this fear that TV people are out to get you. <laughs> like they want to twist everything you say to fit their narrative. And I don't think that's the way this program is, and I don't think that's the way she is naturally, which is really refreshing. Um, and you know, there's they're they're not they're not just personalities on TV. These people are real people, and I think we have to be careful when we make judgments on celebrities. And I know, like Philippe and I have talked, we 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 react to a lot of people on on our reaction videos on the Postmodern Family channel. Um, and I don't, I hope like we aren't making any personal attacks on people because I think what's really interesting when Stacy says this about this program that she does, Stacy Dooley sleeps over, is that people um, always have a deeper side to them, always have a different perspective. And even though whenever she comes into these families and she interviews them, she always comes in, she tries to be very open minded, but she always has this idea of what maybe they could be like. And there's always something different or something deeper or something that she didn't think about. So I really hope that she enjoyed her stay with us this weekend. Um, I want to try my new Poundland <laughs> uh, contour kit. And yeah, I just think that it was a really fun experience. I just, I guess we're really interested to see how it actually turns out because clearly we've never done this before and, and we don't want to be misrepresented. So. Um, I think they're going to be in conversation with us. Starting next week, they're going to start cutting the tape, like looking at the footage and making some decisions. And I hope that, you know, we're involved in this process and it's not going to be completely one-sided um, or against us. That would be horrible, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, she spent along this whole weekend with us and pretty much every waking moment just asking us questions about our lives and then interviewing our friends and interviewing my family and um, I just really hope that we're fairly represented that we're not I don't want to be seen as this like really crazy out there family because I don't think we are and we're also I think we're just trying to encourage people 
to embrace maybe a different view of life and having come from like a background of very modern thinking um, and then having come through and having celebrated 10 years of marriage and we live a very happy married life, I would hope to think that people are interested in what we have to say about marriage and um, are encouraged hopefully or, or maybe inspiring people, uh, especially people who maybe were maybe never thinking about having children that they might even think about having children because it's just such an amazing thing. It just changes your life in such a good way as you reevaluate what you think, what you, your life is, what's good and what's not. So um, I'm going to put some highlighter on now with this fan brush. I saw this on Miss Darcy. Miss Darcy is going to hit a million subscribers soon, so you should check her out. She's so hilarious. Um, but she's, she was like, I'm going to put highlighter on with a fan brush because I'm glamorous or something. And I was like, I don't know what to put highlighter on with, so I'm just going to copy whatever she did. And um, she said she's not like an expert or anything, but I really like the shimmer that comes with this. Um, Hit this hot, this shimmery highlighter, and the fan brush does feel glamorous. So that's what I'm putting on with. But I don't want to be too shiny, so then after I put on this highlighter that's shiny, then I'm gonna round everything out with a matte foundation, a bare essentials matte foundation. And then I'm gonna finish off with my normal blush system. So there's my contouring. I don't do very much. And then um, here is my brush for my matte concealer. This is a powder concealer by Bare Minerals in the color Fairly Light N10. I've had it for many, many years. It's probably expired as well. So um, I'm just gonna put this all over my face to round everything out. I don't want to be too shiny. I want everything to be nice and blended. But it's been really fun meeting the crew. Um, Jules is like the assistant producer, I guess, and she's been the one who has been organizing everything with us, communication and everything. And then we have Alice, who's our main producer, who basically tells Guy and tells Stacy what to do, and she's taking notes the whole time. She's taking notes. And then we have Mish, who is on the camera, um, and he did sound the first day, and then Sam came and did sound the second day, and the third day. Yeah, Saturday and Sunday. And Guy, who is the director and the, also holding the camera, so I guess that's quite normal these days. We had a long chat with him about kits, about like what kind of lenses they use and stuff. That was really fun. Felipe was really interested in that. I forgot to put on concealer. So I had this breakout on my nose, and as you can tell, it's pretty well hidden. Um, it's pretty good. I wonder if I should just not, because if I cake it on, if I put on concealer on my nose, then it might get cakey. I don't know. Um, but we're doing, so Stacy's leaving today. After, basically we have breakfast, and then I think she's leaving. Um, and then they're gonna have um, the publicity photo photographer come to take photos of us for publicity. So I do feel like I need to make sure I have my makeup is spot on and that Felipe approves my outfit because I'm not quite sure I feel like I'm like running out of clothes to where that's presentable for the cameras. <laughs> We've had a lot of like outfit changes this weekend. Just a touch of concealer. I think Okay, I think I want to just brighten up under my eyes if I can. And then I've been doing my eyeshadow. I haven't done eyeshadow in like forever, but I've been doing it and I think it's been looking pretty good. So I'm going to continue with that. Um, so just little fun facts that now I've learned about Stacey Dooley is she loves drinking tea, especially Yorkshire tea. 
and she loves, she can't, I guess she has like a lactose intolerance, so she drinks it with oat milk and she has, has no sugar. So tea with oat milk, no sugar, and she loves it. Like anytime there's a break, I like to make her a cup of tea and um, she's so sweet. And um, what else? She likes to wear really baggy clothing. That's like her style. In fact, I think she's coined the phrase. What's the phrase, honey? <laughs> the only size is oversized. <laughs> so it makes sense because the first time when she showed up, she was like in these really baggy jeans and like this oversized suit jacket, I guess, blazer. And, um,. I guess that's her style. Her, she's coined the style. She's going with the style. But I think she's she has such a petite little frame that she kind of like gets buried and lost in there. So I would love it if she would just show her figure a little bit more, wear appropriate size clothing. But hey, she she's she's the one who's famous. So maybe she knows something about fashion. Um, and then. Oh, she doesn't wear cons she doesn't wear foundation, which I was like super impressed. And she was she kept saying nice things about my my skin, but I was like, no, no, no. She's got really good skin, and um, just putting my blush on this thing here. That's broken. Anyway, yeah, she's got really good skin. So all she uses is some concealer and like mascara and a few blush or something. I don't know. It's not much on her skin. She's got really, really nice skin. She looks great. Um, and she's got really long eyelashes. Oh, Doris loves her. She's like, she's so pretty. She kept thinking, and she kept saying, I love how long her eyelashes are. And she doesn't curl them. So they're really like straight and long. And then she uses like a dark mascara so you can see her eyes better. But I must curl my eyelashes or else you will not see them. They're so short and straight. Thankfully, Doris's eyelashes are longer than mine, and so she'll have nice long eyelashes to work with. Yep, so the other things that we've learned about her is that she's from Luton, and, um, ow. And she didn't go to university. She, um, basically just started right out and did some Forget now. She told us about how she like broke out into the scene, onto the scene. She basically like I think she there was a group of young people who went to see I forget what country now, see something, and then after that she like landed her own show. I guess I left her from that moment on. She has a boyfriend. You probably know this, Kev. It was her dancing partner from Strictly. They've been dating for two years, and um, she used to have a dog, an Amer a bulldog, I think, an American bulldog, and um, she really misses that dog. She doesn't have the dog anymore, and uh, I really hope that she um, gets married and has kids and settles down. <laughs> so we'll see how. Well, I would love to, I can't wait to see this production. I think it's gonna come out, they said in, in the next year, so like January, February sometime, maybe. I have no idea. I need some concealer down here. Um, but it's been a really interesting experience, that's for sure. I think Felipe and I are just ready to go back to normality. Like, <laughs> surprisingly, I still lost weight this weekend, even though we had eaten so much food during our um, renewal of vows ceremony and our baptism reception and all that. It's amazing. Oh, I think Misha's here. I'm just making a video. You want to be? <laughs> I'm just making a video. A makeup video. Yeah, so I have no idea when this. I'm just talking to the camera. I have no idea when this um, documentary is gonna come out and what it's gonna look like in the end, but hopefully 
hopefully we'll be well represented. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's it, really. I just have a few more things to do. So I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna do my eyeshadow now, which I haven't been doing for the camera, I think. So I got this lid smoothie. I'm gonna put on first. Yeah, I'll do it now. Just on the center of my eyelids here. Add a little shimmer. <gasps> Good morning. How are you? You? Yeah, the kids have been really great. Yeah. I think they're gonna really miss Stacy. Uh, yeah, they're gonna miss her. Miss Stacy's leaving today. Oh. Yeah. Come yeah. here. Oh, she's outside. She's outside? She's upstairs. She's sleeping still. I think. Unless, unless the doors will close. Is your sleeping still too? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> he said, he looks like he just woke up. Look at the camera for me. Yeah, he just woke up. It's a good boy. Mommy's gonna make breakfast mm. at, for nine o'clock. We're gonna have a little pancake dinner. Oh. You want pancakes? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, let me finish my makeup. Okay. And we're gonna take some photos today, too. Oh. So, yeah, some photos. Okay. I don't know. Actually, Mish, you know if the kids are gonna be in the photos? Yeah. There? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So I'll have to dress them up as well. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put on this Mac eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. Yeah, eyeshadow. You're speaking so well now. Yeah. Oh, sure, you're amazing. You're going up so fast. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it's been such a crazy weekend. Just so many activities. We got to see um, so many friends. Children had a lot of fun playing. Yesterday they were going crazy at the restaurant. Oh. And now Doris has discovered the game Simon Says and she just loves the game. So she's asking if we can play that during CC. <laughs> but yeah, oh yeah, where is, so this, this documentary is supposed to be airing on the channel W, which I hadn't even heard of until we were contacted by Jewel. Um, because we don't even, we don't even pay for the BBC licensing fee. We don't even watch that. Isn't that crazy? Um, so I don't really know how we're going to get to watch it. So maybe one of you guys, maybe one of our friends can tell us if they pay for that, if they get that, um, if they subscribe to that channel or whatever. Oh no, look at my Mac eyeshadow is, this is like broken into pieces. What? I have had it for like 10 years though, so <laughs> maybe it's time to move on. Maybe it's time to buy a new one. Okay, I'll just try and use it anyway with my blender brush. Just my my gentle one. Which reminds me to blend this one in. Your gentle one? What's that? Your gentle one? Mm. Yeah. I'll put this one on the inside of my eye so I have like. Like dark, light, dark. Hey, I've been doing this for a, 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 this is the way I've done my makeup since I don't know. In terms of eyeshadow, forever, and I, I never really changed. Eyeshadow is hard for my eyes because I don't have that a, a lid. I have a, what they call like a mono lid where Mommy, there's no crease in my eye. Yes, this is mine. Thank you. But like Koreans. Um, they're so obsessed with having the lid crease that they do surgery to like add that crease in. I actually really like not having a crease. I like having a mono a mono lid. I'm gonna do some highlighter eyeshadow here on my brow. Highlighter. Highlighter. And then I'm gonna put some on the inside of here. Everyone does that. Cool. See, it brightens up the eye. I don't know. It just looks like where I put my glasses. Like 
tip right there. <laughs> oh, okay. That's your now, makeup. It's my makeup. I'm going to put my mascara on now. Get on now. Uh huh. I'm gonna be getting another one, okay, Mom? Okay, you're gonna go? Yeah. Oh, careful. Okay. You know what he said? Because I didn't know. Okay, another what? Another what? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't think I need it quite yet. He brought me the other, the new one. <laughs> Funny. Thank you. That you make up. That's right. It's my makeup. You're going to take it out, babe. No, not right now. I don't need it right now. Thank you. Cutie. Okay, and then my eyebrows, and then my eyeliner, and then my lips, and then I'm done. So, eyebrows. I'll do my eyeliner first, because what I found first. What? I didn't wake up, bitch. What's up? I didn't wake up, bitch. Got your makeup. Let me get your makeup. Where's your Jijia? What is she doing? What? Where's Jijia? Yeah. He's hiding. Yeah. It's not like he should hiding. Okay, and then I wonder if I need to do more eyeliner than usual. Okay. And then um, eyebrows, eyebrows. Oh, I forgot to contour my nose. Too many steps. I should have it written down somewhere. Eyebrows. 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 May Mao. May Mao. May Mao. My eyebrows. My eyebrows. Yeah. Right there. Right there. Right there. That's a brush for my face. It's from my finishing powder. Oh. Which I need to remember to put on as well. Thank you for yeah, reminding it's me. Yours. So this is a longer video than normal because I'm putting on way more makeup, I think. More steps. More steps involved. What did it? What did it? What did That is a brush that I'm going to use. So I have this little brush that I um, bought to try foundation on and didn't enjoy it. So I'm using it for contouring my nose, which seems to work like this. When you're done, Mom, when you're done, and you've got a new one, Um, when I'm done with my old one? Yeah. But I'm not done with my old one yet. See, I still have it. So I don't need it yet, okay? Thank you. You're not my makeup. So after that... You're not my makeup. No. Get your makeup. And then the highlight again. Take my finger. Cool. Fine? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I um, can I finish I my steps here? Good. Um, I'm gonna do my hair just 
then my lips. Oh yeah, I was gonna use my that uh, matte one that I like, the pinky one instead of the red one. I have to ask Felipe what he thinks about this top. I'm not loving it. He might tell me to change. Okay. So, everything's done. Did I do everything? You think so? Oh wait, no, the mineral veil. Okay, I need to put my finishing powder on. My Bare Essentials Mineral Veil, Original Mineral Veil. It's just supposed to be a translucent powder that helps keep oh. everything in place. So I'm going to use this Kabuko, I think. Kabuko? Wait, what it's called? Brush. Just put it all over. Hopefully it'll hold all my makeup in place. And not upside down. Oh, and not upside down. that blemish on my nose all right so I think I'm all like photo ready I'm just gonna put my my lips on oh thank you thank you yeah you may there you go all right here you go All right, that's my makeup done. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please leave a comment below on let me know other topics you'd like me to talk about. And thanks, you can definitely like and subscribe to my videos, my channel. And um, that's it. Wish me luck. Bye. I think there's such a joy in keeping a good home and watching your children grow up and cooking and cleaning and supporting your husband.